G'day guys, welcome to Kreuzberg and we're here at round two to see Chino from USA playing as the Japanese. He's up against Asuka, the boy, the wonder boy from Israel, 13 years of age, playing as British Commonwealth. And he's got a regular squad going down to the center. He's going to meet on the other end Chino with an assault squad split into two. And on the right, a single SMG. It seems like this is a uh, favorite, favorite call as the Japanese. Assault squad plus a single LMG. Let's see how this pans out. Sneaky guy from Asuka. Gonna try and get a grenade being unnoticed. No, he's noticed and really gets grenaded back. But the LMG is shooting on from the angle to that position. Most of the regulars here will get a bit too outnumbered, I think. Not really. They're just being pinned down. Which to see who wins. Looks like I think it will go to the regulars. They have extra firepower. Sneaky SMG from Asuka. This little alleyway has been used quite regularly to sneak up to the guys in this area to throw grenades. Chino trying to flank from the back, as you can see over here with the house. So trying to tussle for the center basically. Oh, not very nicely cooked. That MG just simply ducks for cover. So, the western point we have it going to Asuka, also known as Murderer I'll Kill You Beep. Ignore that, I don't know why he said that. Maybe he just wanted to hype himself up for the game, probably, as he's known for being a little bit emotionally unstable in games, I guess as a 13 year old pretty much, uh, yeah, just uh, you, the pressure does get to you. That's understandable. Uh, I will be playing, pretty much playing, be playing Monopoly at his age of Scrabble, nothing like uh, an intense war game. Uh, anyway, uh, looks like age, age is not enforced really in pretty much the online world. It's, he's probably watching porn as well, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> whether a, I'll kill you is coming in with a boy's gun carrier. What the hell? It's an AT rifle. It just sniped a few guys. It's one of the little cool things about it. The AT rifle does fire by itself with the AI and can AP snipe. Interesting buy. Very cheap, though not very good. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's uh, Chino dodging a lot of bullets. Wow. Um, okay, fair enough. He didn't end up getting the grenade off because it wasn't one of those 80 grenades that blow up on impact. It's one of those 80 grenades, which is a huge explosion and kills heaps of stuff. But we have to time it right. Chino sending recruits to pressure on the western point and coming also with some... It, he's got an AT rifle as well. He got an AT rifle to get that AT rifle. Okay, but I guess that AT rifle can't counter that AT rifle. It's a gun carry AT rifle, which is first to be seen in the mod... Uh, in AS2 really. You don't see that in the default. There's no such thing as a gun carrier AT rifle. Now shooting down onto the western point, Chino is uh, still struggling to get into here. And Asuka is holding strong. So Chino on the other hand, he's a university student. <laughs> a bit out of practice. You can say he, he doesn't want to practice every time he's been asked to practice by his USA friends like Jitska and the sort. Just to give some USA pride as they like to say that uh, Chino will fail, fail them. <laughs> in this tournament, because it's on the frack. Uh, I think it could be nerves, who knows? Maybe he doesn't want to have the pressure of practicing and not turning out well. But anyway, he's a great player, great 1v1, one, one one, but uh, yeah, not in practice. Asuka coming with the King African Rifles to assault the Eastern. And I have to say again, Kreuzberg is definitely a map that's been chosen quite often. Very action packed, in fact. So it doesn't tend to lead to wipes because it's quite, I guess, easier to hold the side flanks due to the amount of cover. Uh, in the positions. It looks like the AT rifle hasn't taken out this uh, gun carrier AT rifle. Hago by from Chino, gonna go up to the eastern to reinforce, stop the King African rifles, and Asuka is gonna start spreading them just to try to be a bit of a nuisance. But uh, Assault Squad also coming, and they shouldn't have a problem rooting out these this squad over there. LMG also coming in the background. <laughs> and a counter by, interesting, no 20 mils, that's a cool thing. I guess it's not a map which Supports 20 mils. Boy's gun carrier has taken out the AT rifle at the back. But here's the M2... Uh, sorry, AT rifle has taken the boy's gun carrier. M2A4 coming down to the eastern point and it will be able to take out that Hargo. Should be quite an even matchup in fact if the Hargo was in the right position but it's looking at the wrong way and has been taken out. And reinforcements as well from the assault squad kind. Uh, so Asuka holds on to dear life to the western point and is now going to try and take out the Eastern Point once again. Both these players uh, obviously looking for a win, but uh, waiting for them in the semi-finals at Tedessa. <laughs> Tedessa definitely on form after beating Pringles, and if that's anything to go by it, these guys should be 
I guess not really looking forward to the next match. I guess take it game at a time. This game is definitely going to be quite even. Wow, into A4 in support. Look at the MGs. They do well, don't they? And Chino with the 80 grenade. I crashed last, seeing that last time and uh, it uh, got destroyed. <laughs> this is actually the third time I'm casting these guys because grenade crashes. Even though I just can't be bothered uh, restarting it. But anyway, Chino, uh, Asuka has now capped the eastern point and the western point is oh, being assaulted by Chino. So a bit of a weakness from Asuka by attacking this. He's left his western point a bit open. But reinforcing now with a full assault squad plus a reservist. He's also blown a wall there to allow him to go in a bit more. And let's see where it goes. Let's see the M2A4. King African Rifles coming to the center. I must say this M2A4 tank. Oh, here comes a 80 infantry. Boom. What the hell? It hit the... What? The, it hit the track, but it didn't get tracked. I don't know. Let's see it go again. The sucker doesn't even notice, I think. What? It hit... It hit the rubble? <laughs> Lucky bastard. Okay. The MTA4, I was going to say, it was a very good support tank. I never pictured it being a great support tank. I didn't wasn't aware that those MDs were so effective, and it seems like they are. And it looks like it's just a lucky bastard as well, so maybe it has some sort of luck stat that I don't know about. Asuka. Trying to hold on to this point, just be a bit uh, sneaky and annoying. M2A4 coming in as well. Uh, Chino's got a uh, Chinu, a uh, Chihi, I mean. Chihi down the center. Let's see what this M2A4 can do. Oh, AT rifle! AT rifle infantry, I think it's the AT infantry from the AT rifle on SP. It's <laughs> this guy too is not being quite oh Chino not microing the right area and that escapes with its life. And okay, finally AT rifle grenade has taken out the turret and gun. And here it comes that Chihi. Start clearing up. Doing a nice job so far. Enough line aside as well, as Asuka is still holding on here. <coughs> Looks like he'll lose the eastern point though. And centre, wow, look at that uh, tank support. Both these guys are using medium tanks and light tanks for the infantry killing in this game. Um, Britcom do have a lot of infantry killers, but uh, I guess, uh, yeah. This is better to take out light tanks, I guess. Got a lot of our 20 mil varieties and 50 cal varieties, plus the 13 mil varieties. She he is doing a fantastic infantry support role. Attacking both. <laughs> um, so yep, uh, looking pretty close so far. 16 to one. The the guy from the U China from USA taking a lead, and will potentially get a three cap. Asuka needs to get a flag ASAP that M2A falls down, be knocked out. We have a Australian rat, rats at the brooks in the western, and nothing else really. What's going on? 18 1. This may turn out to be a wipe if the Australian rats don't move. And here they come. Let me just check this. I was just told uh, by someone that the Australian rat hit points are bugged. Let's take a look, take a look. No, they're not bugged, and he was lying. So they should have 300 MP. The benefits of the Australian Rats is they do have a bit more extra hit points than other 2 SP, such as the Marines. Um, 50 more hit points, okay. The reason is they have sh haven't got anything special about them other than that. They've got standard British weapons. Chihi, pounding away. Oh, <laughs> uses that copper as a backboard. Takes out two. And what counter has he got? He's got a Matilda. Ooh, okay. Definitely a good thing. Usually it's more favoured on maps where it's close quarters. Especially versus the medium tanks of the Axis. Because the two-pounder is a great gun at close range. It doesn't really need to penetrate that much. And its reload is so fast and so accurate, it can quite easily fight against something like the Chihi. And obviously the armor is pretty damn good as well. And in this situation, I'm going to back the Chihi for sure. Sorry, the Matilda for sure. Tracked. Oh, it's quite far, but I still think it can penetrate. Oh no! Main gun? Oh, lucky 80 which you got MG'd. And that's uh, Chihi's main gun as well, so it can repair that track and come closer. But the strain rats need to move in. Need to move the, yes, use, use this cover and run in there. 
just to protect this guy from getting 80 infantry. I think uh, this SMG can pick it up. Oh, it's over here. It's a bit too close, so he can't pick it up. Um, on this flag, seems like the tanks aren't being repaired. This M2A4 is not being finished off. I think the micro is just going on too fast for them to even worry about it. <laughs> and uh, wow, an India pattern carrier. Never seen this too often. It's like the boys' AT rifle, it's just faster. It's a fast carrier with just an AT rifle. Oh, look at that AT rifle shot. Bam, we just sniped that. A moving shot, but uh, it's getting close. And it's getting decrewed pretty badly at this range by the fanatic soldiers that just exploded themselves. <laughs> I haven't seen that being used often. That's the For the Emperor 2 SB call, and that absolutely failed that time. Um, they're basically kamikazes with a lot of hit points and a lot of stamina and extra speed. But they don't have stealth, so... And they also have lots of grenades, so they've been used for shock infantry to just charge and throw grenades and uh, run to tanks, but not light tanks, as that uh, gun carrier easily ran away and the guy detonated prematurely. I'm not sure if uh, Chino does that in bed as well. Potentially, uh, Chino, <laughs> Chino coming out. Counter that Matilda. And Matilda can get in the range where it can be a 50-50, perhaps. At uh, least Asuka stops 3 cap 46 to 1. And he needs it. So he needs to <coughs> onto at least one flag to stay in the tournament. A bit longer, Indian pattern carrier being felled by that Chinu. A bit of a standoff now. No one wants to move. Good infantry movements from Chinu. Wow, that one recruit. Ooh, that nast nasty man. That one recruit took out nearly two Australian rats with the Bren. Quite unfortunate, and here comes a follow-up. Oh, wow. Bit of a slaughter. Oh, he does take the center point with the King African Rifle, so he's been spamming his specials. Five left. He's still got enough for quite a lot of uh, choices. Chinu taking a shot. Suka backing away. Very precarious on his left flank, though. Many opportunities to, to run and throw a grenade over and take out that Matilda, but reinforcements here from the Assault Squad may prevent that. Commandos. Oh, okay. Did you buy a SAS squad? Sorry, not SAS. The uh, Commandos basically are the fourth tier of UK. Piat. Boom! Takes out the Chihi. Chinu still alive in the backfield. Now Matilda potentially wants to come here to support. Has a nice backboard. A nice HG shell right at the edge of that wall with boom! Take out all these four guys. <coughs> Those expensive type. 99 MGs and wow well, this guy is using CP and hasn't been uh, destroyed or self-destructed so um, that does count for his payback too costs around 10 CP if I'm not mistaken let's take a look the MK wow that's the, that's the shot the money shot right there maybe I'll have to take it out no sugar playing for his saved wow I've never really seen this building actually been destroyed entirely uh, but it has okay fair enough I didn't see what did it sorry now Chino trying to come into the center <coughs> now the squads that are holding holding the point are quite strong they're King Africans and commandos so they're doing well they should be able to hold versus any infantry what a shot the mortar is out as well and yep that's one way of taking the center and definitely do so. Finally, that M2A4 light tanks down. Matilda coming in to move to an area with the Chino approaches here. He can take it out. So now the Matilda's behind the house. He can get closer, and the Chino won't be able to come in. Nice maneuver there by Asuka. <coughs> Let's take a look. Type 150 still pounding in the center. A blockbuster this weekend. Uh, sausages versus uh, Hansi. Can't wait to see that. That'll be pretty much the first game for the Australians playing on good team or in a tournament. Because really much, pretty much none of the good Australians ever really played each other in tournaments. It's really only Sausages stab and me and Hansi. Be cool to see. Can't wait. And the winner of this plays, I think I mentioned, plays Tedessa. 
Regular squad from Asuka. <coughs> Finish off with a grenade. Oh, nasty. Nasty indeed. Mortar in the center. Pounding away. Not much to hit now. I think most of them have perished. There's only two guys in the center from Asuka. No reinforcements of his, as of yet. I didn't notice, but he's got a scout car as well. It's one of the benefits of Britcom specials. You get the one point of desert patrol. Half track with uh, multiple weapons, 30 cows and 50 cows. Just running there, do a lot of damage. The biggest benefit of this is not linked to other 1SP, so you can spam, spam, spam with the King African rifles, with threats to book, you can just spam it all at once. Uh, gives an extra pressure edge, and it's done really well so far. Nothing here to counter it, but it's being too cocky. Where's it going? It's going to spawn. It thinks it can run over the mortar. Maybe it can. Wow, Chino? There's that 20 mil waiting for it, though. No. Wishful thinking, I would say. But uh, the closer it got, the more excited I was that it could. But, uh, yeah. He's not playing a full. He's playing one of the best, so... It should be expected that that wouldn't have happened. Assault squad coming into the center. A very juicy target for the mortar though. She Matilda. Wow, <laughs> that mortar shall knock that grenade to a different trajectory. 20 mil moving to... This is the standard <laughs> break, but Wow, look at that mortar. Boom. Takes out the entire assault squad plus the front of that building. 20 mil down here, can lock down the two flags, just needs to knock out that building. And it would suit his Chinu play as well, being able to shoot from further ranges against his Matilda. Though the comms can quite easily afford a heavier tank. Once that Matilda's down, let's take a look. <laughs> Chinu. No luck yet. Now moving to the left of the house. 20 millimeter, pounding into the western point. Hargo. It's a bit of a lockdown right now. I can see that Matilda doesn't know what to do. It's trying to take out that 20 mil. Hargo's gonna go 50 50. Oh, nice shot. Takes out that 20 mil. But Hargo's gonna even try 50 50. Matilda's probably one of those tanks uh, that is actually pretty good to withstand some sort of 50 50 attack. Its armor is fantastic. And its gun is so accurate that it can take out a light tank like that quite easily. Doesn't matter, it's got team double teamed by oh, Churchill MKV. MKIV. <coughs> With its side exposed dangerously to a Chinu. Oh, oh wow, what a miss. That was way off. And lucky for now, this will survive. Even with an added, added uh, tube right there as armor. Take it that Chini quite easily with the six pounder gun. And also that Chihi. Decent buy and it's gonna work well, especially on this map. Where you can open up the where the map's already opened up, in fact. This is all down almost. It's needs to get the, the demolition squad. Take out this and that, and I'd say the Japanese team will struggle to find a counter easily that will um, take it out without banking for something really, really expensive. Center. It's being that mortars are uh, being so effective, especially versus Asuka's charging. Not being quite careless at the moment with those assault squads. <laughs> so tanks have been taken out on the Japanese team. And now these... This attack from a recruit squad from China did quite well. So uh, we'll definitely be stopped very shortly. We need to stop it though. 59 to 4. Another 3 cap will mean pretty much nearly game over. Just to prevent that. New players out there. This has been a sale recently, so I should talk about new new player things. That uh, if a player hold, holds a three cap, pretty much a point stick up, one point every two seconds, much quicker than if you're holding just two flags. It escalates, escalates the the growth. Reservists, now we'll come get the center, and that mortar is still still hurting Asuka really badly in the center. Interesting, just recruits from Chino. Just sending recruits, I guess he just wants a line of sight. Get the mortar to do all the killing for him. It's a decent play. 
Uh, tanks though, so many tanks not being repaired from Shino. Could that could have been repaired? That too. He's not having a day where he wants to repair. Is uh, one of those players where it's very quite inconsistent, you could say. He doesn't have a plan, doesn't have a methodology to his game plan, but he's got a lot of experience. And he's got good micro, good game knowledge from experience. And uh, yeah, very good at 1v1s, just uh, yeah, little rough edges around here and there if it cleaned up. He's always been that player that's been, you can say, talented. But, uh, he could have won a tournament, but never has. Because he just has all these uh, loose ends, in my opinion. And Asuka uh, needs to win this. He's, he won versus Nat Nat, which was a surprise. And if he wins this, there's definitely no <coughs> no, no doubt in my mind that Asuka was uh, was just lucky versus Nat Nat. There's more. He's definitely definitely in it to in it to play with the big boys, the old boys. Officer buy from Asuka. Very interesting. Minus 20 CP. By the way, this is only in the mod, guys, so don't buy Officer. It's absolutely useless in default. So, frees up the CP from the Sukkah. Also, it gives you a bit more payback because you have less CP, but it uh, looks like he doesn't want to use that for that purpose. He's using it to spam out more units. You can have a few more vehicles on the field, but a uh, little less MP now, as you can see. It's, it's struggling on that MP count. <coughs> Not sure, if, on this map, it's quite an interesting one to choose the Officer. Because you don't have much sight, there's buildings popping everywhere, so he's probably got sight over here or something, and that's it. AT rifle. <coughs> Quite surprised it can't penetrate that Vickers. You know, withdrawing after taking those volleys. <coughs> Looking like both players have run out of steam. As uh, Suka's definitely run out of steam, and Chino is, hasn't been bought, buying anything expensive, and... This is pretty much the oldest trick in the book. Used to see this in tournaments five years ago, where repair tanks were alive so long in the game because there wasn't really a meta evolving, there wasn't really a strategy, everyone was finding their feet. But these days, repair tanks is just like tying your shoelaces. Asuka, kill those repair tanks. Do you forget how you tie to tie your shoelaces, mate? Don't know. You must have forgot. Just too intense right now. You can, it's easy to, easier said than done, guys, because these guys obviously don't have the fog. They have the fog of war. They can't see what's going on. They probably probably can't even see those tanks. Oh, you can. Sorry, you can because destroyed tanks are are viewable in the fog of war. Um, yeah, he's probably under the pump right now, thinking what to do. He needs to get the center point. He just needs more infantry, and he does have the CP for it. Maybe he's just trying to save up a bit more. This, uh, I guess he's waiting for the Vickers to do damage. The officer is going to provide this with line of sight so it can take these units out. Firing away. Through the cafe bar window. <laughs> Doing okay. What we have here, we have a type... 40, uh, 40, sorry, 40, 47 millimeter Type 1 and 150 millimeter warm water honed into the western point. Matilda, center. Nice shot from that uh, Matilda. Sneaky 80 infantry in the backfield. And it pop out. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> Pops out to get Owen Gun in the face. This is the Anzacs. So the, he bought the third tier Anzacs. Interesting. Okay. In the Britcoms, there's a normal infantry third tier. Whereas in Commonwealth, UK, Brit, sorry, they're called Great Britain now. They're still in the special points at two. Hmm. Tilda. Mm. Look at the how <laughs> how low on MP everyone is. You can tell when there's just no infantry support on this tank and he's just using a Matilda as infantry killing and there's nothing coming to counter it, but it definitely could. <laughs> SMG that could have ran out. As here's the assault squad. Got it, sir. Just trying to keep up with the micro. 
the type 100 MG or oh, SMG. Boom! Nice crossfire right there, just totally wiped and that's that was a. Oh, I guess you can call it a, a little rough execution there. Half track should have definitely been a bit closer. Oh, 47mm AT gun has stopped him right here. <laughs> and AT infantry from Chino. No, trying to sneak. Matilda's seen it, she's trying to take him out. But really, so dangerous. This <laughs> Matilda has no free support anymore. He can't see anything what's going on. So he could run, to be honest. Chino could just sneak a bit more to the right and just run up. He's, uh, now what is he doing? He's in the center still. <clears throat> Vickers has been uh, surprisingly quite inactive. <coughs> Potentially come here and support. Uh, a bit dangerous now. Nope, not really. Oh, lucky bastard. Oh, he's taking out the AT infantry. Wow, that was quite lucky. Oh, Team B wins. Sorry, didn't notice that. Well done to Chino. He's won the game. Uh, guys, I won't cast the second game. I know the results. Basically, um, Asuka lost to Chino in a very, very quick game on Winter Fields. I just can't be bothered casting that one again. Um, quite one sided. So, well done to Chino. He's through to play Tedessa which is uh, shortly. See you guys. Oh, <coughs> maybe I should uh, talk about a bit about the game. I think the main reasons behind all this, uh, the, the loss was just the snowball from the start, pretty much. Asuka, uh, he did well at the start, but uh, no, I don't know what I'm saying. 